In this video, I just wanted to talk about how to make a stool out of three pieces of insulation. No, not really. Just wanted to talk a little bit about the three top reasons why I wanted to target Passive House Standard and make that really one of the project goals, the overarching theme of what we're doing here. And top has to be comfort because I've visited many, many passive houses, done lots of filming as I've gone along, and you get a sense of what that comfort is. I don't think it's necessarily obvious the first time you go and experience it. You certainly find people who've lived in passive houses who perhaps are visiting relatives in drafty old leaky houses and they immediately, oh, God, this is cold or it's too stuffy here or the kids are just complaining non-stop. So going the other way around is very, very obvious. But I'd encourage you to try and experience a few over the course of some of the buildings you check out. Sometimes you'll find you'll go to a house and people will say, well, we've embraced those principles. And actually, I've been to a few where you're not that impressed. Perhaps they've got underfloor heating and it's getting stuffy upstairs. All of these things, they've got lots of insulation, but it's just not working as well as when you set out to build a passive house and do it all in the way modeling it, making sure that what you build has a lot of attention to detail and it's been well planned. So that's going to be my first reason. The second reason I will say is it's going to save you money. So running a house is expensive and if you're like me and you get carried away on a project, you've got a slightly bigger house than you anticipated. So you need to make sure that your heating bills are low. And one way of doing that is not wasting the heat. So in, a, in essence, this could be energy efficiency that we're talking about in this second point, but it's really saving you money. So you wouldn't have to care about the energy efficiency. It's just naturally saving you a bit of cash along the way. And the third reason is to do with air quality and health, actually. In the rental property that we're in while this house gets built, there's mould on the windows and yeah, we're par partly to blame. There's a lot of moisture in the house. We dry our clothes inside with nowhere else to do it. So it's going to be so exciting to have a utility room <laughs> to dry our clothes. We'll put them in there. It'll extract all the moisture, keep the heat. And the same in the kitchen, all those smells will just go straight outside. Upstairs, we're not going to have damp towels in the bathroom. So actually that's adding a lot to your experience of living in the house. Those are my top three reasons for going passive house standard. You may be surprised, but as I mentioned, I think they just naturally deliver better houses.